What's up YouTube? Now I'm actually applying, I'm actually putting in the spec see-through satin case cover for my 15.4 inch MacBook Pro. This is the video for the same, how you do it. Even I don't know how you do it. I'm going to read the instructions and do it right now. In front of Here you. are the instructions that says, clean your MacBook before attaching the see-through case. Remove all dirt, debris, or sand from the outside surface. Gently clean the see-through case and attach to your MacBook. Okay. So, very first of all, uh, in the photo it says first you attach the bottom part and then on the top part. So, yes. I'm first going to clean the bottom part. I have this IKEA. So, I'm going to use it. This is the microfiber cloth to actually clean it to make sure nothing sticks on it. I'm going to use it from the side from which it's smooth. I'm going to apply it on this, not on the MacBook Pro, right? I have another big microfiber cloth that I'm going to use for drying up what I just cleaned. Now that is done. Now comes the turn of cleaning the spec see through bottom part. This is the bottom part. I'll show you the top part as well. This looks perfectly glossy. You can see it. I can't see a single fingerprint or something. There is some bit, but that is not the fingerprint. Okay, yeah. This looks really nice. The microfiber cloth I'm that, that I'm using, I got two small microfiber clothes and one large microfiber cloth along with the IKEA, the IKEA the solution that I'm using. So I think that is done. I'm not going to touch my finger. I don't want any fingerprints on it. I'm just going to use the dry cloth now. That is it. So this is done. I have the another big microfiber cloth that I'm going to use for drying up what I just now that is done. Now comes the turn of cleaning the spec see through bottom part. This is the bottom part. I'll show you the top part as well. This looks perfectly glossy. You can see it. I can't see a single fingerprint or something. There is some bit, but that is not the fingerprint. Okay, yeah. This looks really nice. The microfiber cloth I'm that, that I'm using, I got two small microfiber clothes and one large microfiber cloth along with the IKEA, the IKEA the solution that I'm using.
So I think that is done. I'm not going to touch my finger. I don't want any fingerprints on it. I'm just going to use the dry cloth now. That is it. So this is done. There was a small click on this side, but there is no click on this side. looks the perfect fit. Now it is the turn for the front side. This is the front side of my new MacBook Pro. Again, just gonna apply some liquid before I clean it. So, that's done. Once again, the dry cloth. Now, cleaning the top part. Okay, this might look like I'm being over paranoid. I'm doing too much. But, believe me guys, I have waited for this computer for five years. I'm going to do everything to protect it. to put it let me just see how you I think I think this would come on the front like this. Yes yeah, still I'll, I'll I'll first see the instructions just to make sure of it. Yep, the spec logo which is actually sort of embedded in it. It is punched in it. The design I don't know if you can see. I'll just try and throw some light on it. This spec logo. This should go on the top right side of your laptop. If you have laptop as your front, it should go on the top right side. That is how it shows in over here. So that is how I'm going to do it. First, the back side, back side of the top. Okay, I'm not that good at it. I don't know what am I doing wrong, but
I was afraid of pushing it, but that's what you have to do to put it in. Now that's done guys. You see the logo right over here. I'm just going to start the laptop now. The logo right away here. It should shine. Yes, it does. So you can see the logo and you can even see the battery indicator. You see that? That works really great. I just press it the battery indicator works and I'm sure so will the standby light over here so guys that's my MacBook Pro I'm just gonna close it and show you from the sides MagSafe Ethernet Thunderbolt um, no MagSafe Ethernet FireWire Thunderbolt to USB, SDXC, audio out and audio in. No, audio in and audio out, I'm sorry. And on this side you have the CD slot and this is the standby light. As I said, I'm sure it will blank and it does. Awesome guys, it looks really great, really lovely, completely packed. I'm sure I'll have a good time with this MacBook now. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.